Hello everyone, I am Charan from Venkateswara College of Engineering. Today I am going to speak a topic on scheduling algorithm. Do you know what is scheduling? One CPU with a number of processor. Only one process can use the CPU at a time. Which process is going to be executed in the thing decide? A by scheduler and its whole thing is called as scheduling. There are two types of scheduling, primitive scheduling and non-primitive scheduling. Now we are going to see what is a primitive scheduling. In primitive scheduling, the currently running process may be interrupted and moved to the ready state by OS forcefully. It selects an process and lets it run for specific time duration called time quantum. If process is still running at the end of the time interval, it is suspected and the scheduler selects another process to run. Now we are going to see a non-primitive scheduling. In non-primitive scheduling, the running process can only lose the processor voluntarily by terminating or by requesting. And once CPU gives to a process, it cannot be until the process completes its CPU burst. It selects and process to run and then just lets it to run until it blocks or terminates. There are three types of schedulers. Long term scheduler, mid term scheduler and short term scheduler. In long term scheduler, load a job in memory runs infrequently. In midterm scheduler, it selects a ready process to run and CPU and it should be fast. In short term scheduler, it reduces multi-programming and memory consumption. This and process scheduling. Process and friends use inchargeably. Which process to run next? May process is ready state. Ready running. Just here you can see a flowchart of process scheduling. And now we are going to see a formula of turn around time and waiting time. You can note on it. Thank you. Thank you for watching the video.